I'm going underground in London to see exactly how much pressure sewers are under. So this is where much of London's waste comes. Well, this is the Fleet Sewer, which is one of the main arteries running under the city of London. And Sir Joseph Bazalgette built sewer to stop the sewage going into the river in the 1860s. But the problem is there is more and more sewage and been produced since the 1860s, and it's now got to a point where these sewers cannot cope with this increased flow. Just how much pressure is this sewer under? Although it's dry today and there's a relatively small amount of flow, with just two millimetres of rainfall, this whole sewerage system here can fill up to the top, absolutely to the brim. The drainage system acts like a giant funnel, catching the rain from the streets of London and channeling it together. So just two millimetres of rain adds up to 500,000 tonnes of extra water, overwhelming these sewers. As a consequence, because the interceptor sewers can't take away that volume of sewage, massive volumes of sewage are then discharged into the tidal river Thames. And from this point alone, 500 1,000 tonnes of sewage is discharged into the river in a typical year. This combined sewer overflow is where it comes out. Around the UK, there are over 31,000 of these outlets, letting out a mixture of excess rainwater and the waste we flush down toilets and drains, into rivers and onto beaches. It's bad for the environment, but if we didn't have these overflows, the waste would back up into our homes. But there is a solution to our overflowing sewers. Wow. It's the UK's biggest ever water engineering project, and it's going on right under Londoner's feet. First floor, haberdashery. Thames Water are building a massive tunnel. It's ten times as wide as the old Victorian sewers and at 7.2 metres in diameter, nearly as wide as the Channel Tunnel. In fact, you could fit three double-decker buses side by side down here. It'll be one of London's deepest and largest tunnels, running 25 kilometres under the River Thames. What will the role of this shaft and tunnel be? It's basically a storage and transfer system so we intercept storm flows that uh, will overflow the sewers that exist in central London. And instead of it going out into the river during storm events, we will capture it and hold it in the tunnel. 